Um, while we're talking about books, um, as I said, my book, the latest one, is Think, Prepare, Play Like a Champion. Um, you might be interested that um, this is probably compare, putting together two things that uh, I've done over a lot of my lifetime, as well as writing a few academic papers. But the first one was Heart Rate Fitness Program, which I did about 25 years ago now, 25 or 26 years ago. And it was all about finding out when you're an athlete, not being a lab rat, uh, more about yourself. Um, I was an elite athlete at the time, so understanding standing uh, polar heart rate at the time was about the only watch that did that now you've got lots of different alternatives um, I've still got some polars but I've got a great Garmin that can um, do all of that and tell me exactly what my heart rate is so that was pretty important because you started to know about training zones maximum heart rates etc and then the next book I wrote with my brother Mark and uh, it was straight before they won the um, AFL grand final in 2004 and we called it the night Marcus won the flag and people say to me oh it's a kids book and it was great because it touch buttons and uh, made noises and everything and you read it and again with each of those things um, it talks about um, lots about a dream like a young player going to bed kicking the ball lots seeing himself do that so in fact that was a bit of a psychology book and it's still a great um, psychology um, of how kids who go on to be champions think and then of course I put that together and a whole lot of new knowledge and then we're putting the psychology with the physical and we're coming up with exactly how to have a program to do something about both and being great and finally i thought i'd show you i talk about highlight tapes all the time if you have five minutes watch my highlight tape just so you can see that i wasn't always looking like this i wasn't always older i was a young person that could do things and doing so um, i thought i'd show you probably a little bit that happened in the last three months four months for me as i said i was inducted into the south australian sports hall of fame in 2013 probably one of the greatest things that happened was this year all of us that won 10 or 11 in a row i put in a whole application why and how and um it was the memories of everyone going together all the people that were involved um all the teams we had together over the years the fun we had the hard work we did uh the night on itself so um, this is called Reminders. They're a big part of my book, a big part of the program, and um, showing people that if you put it on a coffee table, everyone will pick it up, have a look at it, and go, oh, that was pretty cool. And again, um, I also gave every one of my players, uh, I made a little um, shot glass. I don't drink, but uh, I thought they were fantastic because I talk about being bright and fluoro. That was always one of my trademarks. So again, it had their initial on it, a little star, and underneath it had how many of the um, championships out of the 11 they were involved in. And it's a really good memory because we got one trophy, but everyone deserved one because it was all about the whole team. And lastly, the other thing I was going to show you is I worked with North Adelaide Footy Club, who are a local SNFL club here last year. Um, how good is it to report at the end of the year that the league and the reserves both won the grand final? And it was a pretty good time, um, not only in all that we did together, but um, I'm just going to show you why it was also pretty important. Uh, we did things like jigsaws together, all of that. Um, red frogs, you'll hear all about that. But I've got to show you this, because these are my daughter and my friends. And um, on the last page, I've got all the things that put in, uh, controversies, what was in the paper with me standing there, all the people we got on with, chimney ceremony, which my dad started here in Adelaide years ago. And then finally, holding the cup. And then finally, at the very end, last page, I've got my daughter, um, my friend Mayor, myself and my friend Wendy. We all went together. How great is it to have women that just have the best time helping and encouraging others and we were able to stand on the outer side of the ground and your positive things and help people and just what they were doing and as I said when you end up with a whole group at a scoreboard and the whole clubs had a fantastic experience isn't that what think prepare play like a champion really is.